A little over two years ago, I shot a video on how to free up CPU and machine. You can find that video right after the end of this one. Today, I wanna to share with you a way you can enhance machine's performance by using this component. Maybe you are new to recording audio with computers, you might not understand the importance of using the right connectors or even using an efficient medium to store files on. I can remember the first time I started recording audio on an external drive. I went to Best Buy and I bought a cheap hard drive I could afford. It was a Western Digital MyBook. Little did I know that the RPMs or revolutions per minute was 5400. This drive performed well with storing photos, videos, and sound, but when it came to Pro Tools Sessions playback, it was horrible. I remember seeing this error message, DAE error 9073. Can't get audio from the drive fast enough. I later found out that I needed to get a drive that was at least 7200 RPMs. You might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with machine? Well, native instruments are known to make massive sound libraries. And if you're anything like me, you do not want to store that massive collection on your internal drive you will need an external drive, and I'm pretty sure if you are watching this video, you are currently using one. So ask yourself, am I using an efficient drive? Today, I currently own two Samsung T5 SSD drives and one T7 SSD drive. It was a lot of money at the time when these drives first came out, but that does not compare to the headaches I endured when not using a drive to pull audio fast enough. If you are looking to upgrade your drive, you might be asking yourself, which one should I get? My recommendation is a drive with at least 7200 RPM. I've used one such as the G Technology 1TB. This drive met my needs for many years. If you're able to, I would recommend looking at upgrading to an SSD drive. These drives have no moving parts and can be extremely fast. Again, if you have a nice collection of sounds, you will want to store them on a drive that is fast enough to be read from. I will leave links down in the description below for your convenience. I hope you find this information to be helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content.